decided to dive into the uh, synth DIY world. My first time buying a, a kit. This is by Sound Machines. This is called the Experimenters Kit. And here are all the components. Couldn't fit everything in here, but this is most of them. Resistors, capacitors, photo cells, silicone diodes, LED diodes, transistors, potentiometers, push buttons, dip switches, integrated circuits, you name it. Uh, and apparently, um, it allows you to mount these components without the need to solder and burn your fingers. So that's kind of cool. So I'm actually looking forward to this and you can actually create utility modules like envelope generators, sequencers, voltage control gates. Uh, there's one popular one called the Atari Punk console. So I look forward to um, creating that. I might do that one first. So I finally got a project going on the uh, Sound Machine Experimentals Kit. Not bad for $54. Uh, this one is called the Atari Punk Console. And it's basically just a sound synthesizer. That's all it really is. has a frequency knob here and a, um, a pulse width knob. It took about 15-20 minutes to put it together. So what I had to do to give it power was I took the 5 volts from the nano synth and the zero and I passed it to the um, positive and negative on the breadboard. So let's try something different now. Let's uh, take it out of the nano synth and let's put the um, this Atari Punk console project through the uh, mixer on the uh, AE modular and let's feed it through the wasp filter. I'm curious to see what that would sound like. And we'll also feed it through the uh, envelope generator on the AE modular and we'll bypass the nano, the nano synth. Also have a going through the delay.
And what would music be like without the castle? Thank <laughs> you.